Hey guys, and welcome to another Blender Buzz tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how we can very simply and easily model a wine glass using a screw modifier. So the only editing you're going to have to do is just these few vertices here to create this object. So I hope you guys like, and let's get started. With a new Blender file open, we're going to start by deleting everything in the default scene. So we're going to press A to select everything, and then I'm going to press X and delete. And just to make things easier for the viewers, I'm going to enable my screencast keys. So if you look down here in the corner right now, you're going to be able to see all the keys that I am pressing during this tutorial. And that'll just make things easier for you. So to get started, we're going to add a cube. So I'm going to go add, mesh, we're going to go up to cube, and I'm going to select cube. And you can see now here in the center of my, um, field, uh, my grid here, it has placed a cube. And I'm going to go to the top orthographic view by pressing 7 on the numpad. Or you can go to view and select top. Okay, And also you can go over here to make sure that your view is an orthographic. Okay, So in top orthographic view, we're going to tab into edit mode. Or you can go down here and select edit mode. And we're going to go to the top and go control R and hover over here and add a loop cut and then left click to um, make that permanent. And we now have a loop in here. And then I'm going to select these two here. So holding in shift and right clicking, I'm going to select these two vertices. Then I'm going to go control I to invert the selection. And then I'm going to go X and delete vertices. And what that has done now, it has created this shape, um, this line here. And it has left our pivot point in the center. So if I go into object mode again, and I rotate this, we can now see that rotates around its own pivot, which is exactly what we want because we're going to be using what we call a screw modifier to make this object. So with this selected, I'm going to go to my modifiers tab. Let's open this up, add modifier. And the modifier we're going to be adding is the screw modifier, which is this one right here. So click on the screw modifier. And you're going to notice now it is um, applying this modifier to our mesh, which spins it around its pivot point. So if I tab into edit mode, this is what we see here. Here's our line. And if I move this around, we can see that moves as well, which is good because if we go into our front orthographic view now, and we go into edit mode, we can move this around and make a shape. So I'm going to start by grabbing this bottom vertice, moving it up towards the red line in front of a graphic view. Okay, so moving it to our, our floor here. Then I'm going to grab this vertice here. I'm going to bring it down to here. Then I'm going to go E to extrude. Bring it in like so, then E to extrude again. And then E to extrude. And we're creating the bottom of our wine glass, essentially. Then I'm going to go E to extrude like so. And then E, and we're just going to bring this up. And this is going to be the bottom of our wine glass. And this is just rough for now. We can always um, do it, um, refine it later on. We're just getting some geometry out there just to establish the general shape of our wine glass. So I'm going to go with this. And you can be as creative as you want to be when it comes to doing this. Um, this is just me doing a tutorial. And you can see here, I've very quickly created this wine glass using this technique. Now, looking at this, I think my base looks a little bit small. So I'm just going to go B, box select, and select all of these vertices and just pull them out like so. And then pull this vertice up like so. Grab these two guys and pull them up just to give that some thickness. And that makes more sense right now. Cool. Then going back into edit mode, we're going to select this vertice here and go E, X, pull it in, and then E, X, pull it in again, and pull it to about there, and that's good. And also at the top here, going to our front orthographic view, we're going to select this very top vertice, E to extrude, and we're essentially just going to give this some thickness. So E to extrude, just pressing E every time and left clicking to let go. Bringing it in here. 
And we don't want to pull it all the way through. We just want to pull it as close as possible. Same down here. Just pull this closed as much as possible. And yeah, there we have a wine glass. And what we can do now is we can go to our modifier and we can add a, a subdivision surface. And now we have it nice and smoothed out. And we can still come in here and edit this at any time. So if I want to give this here some more thickness, I can do that. I can come in here and pull this. And that's it. It just makes it really simple and um, really easy. And this is something you could use for any kind of um, any kind of project where you have to where it's a circular object and you have to repeat the same shape on a 360 degree axis. So this works really good for that. And um, yeah, I hope you guys liked this tutorial. So this is the wine glass. Now this is only a modeling um, tutorial and I hope this helps you guys with your uh, future projects and architectural um, um, scenes and anything where you need um, some objects to fill a space. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time for another modeling tutorial. So there you have it. You made a wine glass, and if this is your uh, first wine glass in Blender, congratulations. And I hope you guys liked. Please like um, the like button below, and subscribe, and share the video. It really helps me out. Thanks.